something like a chow. A third plan adjust the adjustment show. We on our way to the top. Shout out to J.O. It's been the bubby ride, but we ain't moving slow. We don't need a green light, we was born on go. Standing in the paint, toe to toe, bless and blow. Champion, the tears ain't had nothing to do with film. I just thank the good Lord that I'm still here. I'm on his hands first, ain't got no time for the rear. They threw dirt on me, but he ain't leave a smear. Tired roll is still moving, it's been a good year. Never let a nigga bless it's only up from here. Never stress, it's just a test, gotta keep the vision clear. Don't overthink it, dive in it like you want to pee. You gotta want it like a whip before you can even steal. Believe in your What's up, everybody? It's your boy J.O. It's your boy DZM. We're back with another episode of The Adjustments. Here to talk about some free agency stuff. Just like the last couple episodes. But the biggest one right now, the biggest transaction that done happened in these two weeks that we've been gone, Stefan Diggs is now a Houston Texan. Yeah. Houston Texan, man. The Houston Texans have went crazy this year in free agency. Boys went nuts. Yes, they are going for it. They are trying to win now, and that's what you're supposed to do when you have your rookie quarterback on a rookie deal. Yeah. Playing like you playing. And playing like you playing. When you got the mm-hmm. guy at quarterback on this rookie deal, that's what you do. You go all out, you know? Yeah. And that's exactly what they did. Just traded for Stefan Diggs. Uh, they gave up a, a second rounder, and I believe they got some picks back too as well. Some late round next year picks. For some picks. Yeah, so. That's the crazy part about it. Yeah, I mean. For some potential. You know, you know what was going on, and well, we speculate about what was going on in uh, in Buffalo, Buffalo yeah. even though they tried to shoot it down all the time. But uh, Stefan did, <coughs> yeah, and it it's probably because of winning. I don't think it's because of how many uh, targets he was getting or balls he was it's getting the, because he was I getting think it's the way they was playing, bro. True. Just like even we you know you go look at it with them, the Bills as an organization putting. Uh, Josh Allen had to always put them on his back. Yeah. I think he drug Stephon Diggs down okay. while he was doing that. Okay. In a way. Yeah. You know, by forcing him the ball or just throwing him the ball mm-hmm. when it's too late. Yeah. Yeah. And Stephon about to be, I think he about to be 31. 31? 30. I think he about to be 30. Is he a 30 or 31 uh, this year? And, you know, he's still one of the top receivers in the league. Don't get that wrong, mm-hmm. you know. Um, adding him with the Nico Collins and with a Tank Dell, we seen what Tank Dell did before he got hurt. He's gonna come back stronger, and he I already seen running. him. I already seen him working out, and like he's him. full speed yeah. already. You know, so he's gonna be like that again. And you've seen what Nico Collins did, man. He performed when Tank Dell went out. When Tank Dell was there, you know, it just adds Stephon Diggs. To the outside, and then Nico Collins on the other outside, and then Tank Dell in the slot. You can do a lot with switching, switching that around. You know, you got Dalton Schultz at tight end, a, a, a good tight end. You got Joe Mixon that you got. You know, so what they did was, it, I feel like they added almost that final. Well, not that final. Let me okay. Let me stop. Because when we think about last year, what? Go ahead. When we think about last year, what they was missing. Maybe they needed another weapon, yeah. and uh, and uh, hey, the defense. Uh, is a, I'm saying, like in the playoffs, yeah. And a hint, and a hint more of a better of a defense than they did. And that then too. they did that. <laughs> they did both. Yeah. And they they overreached. Well, let me say overreached. They 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 overcompensated themselves in a good way when they got Stephon Diggs. When you already got the wide receivers you just mentioned, yeah. Nico Collins. And, uh, Dex, it's, it's, a, a Tank Dell, excuse tank me. Dale, yeah. I done put that with a whole two names here. <laughs> <laughs> call them Dex. Whoa, but yeah, but you got them two. Like, what they did already, but then you bring a veteran in like that, and then you give them an offseason. It's, 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 it's going to be and tough. Twice a year. Yeah, twice a year for the day. We got to see them, so. Yeah. So, just to go down what they did in free agency, Joe Mixon from a trade. Uh, they re-signed Dalton uh, Schultz. Aziz Al-Shair, he played with the Titans. Hold on, run that back one more time. What? So I think the whole time, I ain't been hearing what you've been saying. Joe Mixon. You said Joe Mixon? Yeah. You've been saying Joe Mixon this whole time over there? Yes. Where my mind been at? I don't know. 
But that's how the, uh, the, the Texans. Yeah. <laughs> that's how the Texans have us right now. Mine in shambles. Bro. But yeah, Joe Mixon threw a trade. Dalton uh, Schultz re-signed. Aziz Al Shahir, he, he's a ball. He's gonna be a ball. He's he's coming into his own as that linebacker. And he and he was with D'Amico Ryan, the head coach and defensive coordinator who runs that defense. He was with him in, with the 49ers, so he bring handpicked him mm. and brought him over here. Danico Autry, Jeff Okuda on a, on a one-year deal. Daniel Hunter, don't forget Daniel Hunter, off that edge. <sighs> Pair him with Will Anderson. You know, you got Mike Ford who coming over as well, Daniel corner. John, Lonnie Johnson, Desmond King, re-signed. Eric Murray, uh, they re-signed their kicker. Uh, Tim Settle, re, uh, Tommy Townsend, Noah Brown resigned, uh, Dale Shine Phillips, Mario Edwards, Charlie Heck, Foley Fatukasi from us, the Jaguars, Miles Bryant, Derek Barnett resigned him. For, they traded for him late last year, and Neville Hewitt. So that long list. It's a whole bunch of defensive players that's going to contribute in there. Right. And you already know the, the offensive weapons that's going to contribute. Their offense, bro. It's I'm starting over here because I don't know what my mind been at. You know, or what, you know. But Joe Mixon, yeah. with that, yeah, that just made that whole... Yeah. And also, they still got Devin Singletary, and they still got... The other, the other guy, I'm blanking on his name, but still. He did good against us. Yes. I mean, uh, bro, it's just to, to piggyback off what you just said, going off of us and our schedule and having to play them two times a year, that's going to be tough, bro. I just don't see it. The way our cornerback room is set up, how we going to stop them. Um, we beat them the second time last year in Houston. But they whooped our ass in Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. uh, Easy, too. Yes. And then you got to think about what the Titans did as well. You know, our division is getting stronger and stronger and stronger by the minute. And if you want to sit there and say, it's, it's okay, yeah, we got to wait and see how it formulates in, in September and when they get on the field. But I don't care what you say. That's nasty, bro. Either one. They Tennessee going to be a problem, and Houston is for sure going to be a problem. They definitely uh, – Houston is just a bigger factor than me over Tennessee. Yes. But I just feel like Houston, they pretty much – they had the best offseason with the best free agency. Yes. Especially in the AFC. I, I definitely think so. I mean, I mean they addressed yeah. the, almost all the issues. Yeah. I think that's what free agency is about, addressing – the issues at hand, like your immediate needs, yeah. Instead of tomorrow, but you know, I, I like I like what I, I love what they did, man. Not for the Jaguars' sake, but I just love, you know, because I was talking about Houston since last year. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It just I that team gonna be crazy because CJ Stroud is just that guy. He only can get better. He only gonna get better, man. And I don't I don't think he's gonna have a sophomore slump or nothing like that because mm. he got everything that he need, bro. You know, so. But his his would be different though, bro. I mean, I don't think that'd happen for him because yeah. you know he graduated. He got better every game. Exactly, every game, Grass every game he got better. <laughs> so I don't think he had no slump. Yeah, and he probably, bro. He probably a top five quarterback right now. Mm. Cause think of who, who, who he got Pat Mahomes in another status field. Yeah, don't forget about <laughs> don't forget about Joe Burrow. Don't forget about um, Lamar. And don't forget about Josh Allen. So that's four right there. I don't, I don't know who else you could put that's better than him. Really. You got Patrick, Lamar. Joe Burrow. Joe, Josh. Justin Herbert not better than him. No, no. I'm not. I'm, I'm picking CJ. Yeah, ain't nobody better than him. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. And, nah, anybody better. You know, we was hoping that Trevor could be in that conversation. Yeah, Rodgers. But we got to see, yeah. you know, 
Oh, yeah, okay. But, ah, no, I'm still thinking CJ. Cause I For the sake picking, of the video. Yeah, and I, yeah. And, I ain't picking, <laughs> and I ain't picking 40-year-old Aaron Rodgers over none of them four quarterbacks. I wouldn't start him. I'm not lying. I wouldn't start him. Like, I feel like the, 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 Giants, the Jets need to just go ahead and start over, bro. But, they, but the Jets have done some nice things, though. They've done some nice things. They, I like what they did. They, they. But in the up. quarterback room, they got a quarter. I mean, you got Aaron Rodgers, bro. That's gonna one year. He's gonna get him one year. Well, if he can make it, <laughs> that's the damn first game. Yeah. Uh, it, Not but, joking on injury, but seriously, if he can make it past the first half of the season. I mean, from what they did at free agency, they trying to bolster up the offensive line. They signed a few offensive linemen. They uh. Added another weapon on the outside with Mike Williams. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, got uh, Javon Kinlaw from the from the uh, 49ers. You know, Morgan Moses is a tackle from the Ravens via trade. Mm -hmm. Mike Williams, like I said, Tyron Smith from the Cowboys, tackle. You know, Wiley Vet, he been, you know, future Hall of Famer. Uh, and they did some uh, more work on the, on the trenches on the defensive side. Also, Jake Hansen, the offensive guard, and, you know, Isaiah Oliver at the cornerback. So, they did some things that can make them better, and they probably going to be in the mix, you know. Uh, just a tough division that they in. You know, you got Miami, and you still can't sleep on Buffalo, even though Buffalo offense looks pretty pedestrian, even though you still got Josh Allen. So, that's what makes you think, okay, Buffalo's still going to be in it. Mm -hmm. You know, but they did lose some people on the defensive side too. But either way, all these AFC South teams—I mean, not AFC South teams, but the two AFC South teams, and then the, the rest of the AFC teams that I just named—you know, the Jets, the Bills, the Dolphins, the Ravens. I like what Pittsburgh is doing. Ravens gonna run that thing. And, you know, I like what you still got. Talk about the Browns as well. Just mm -hmm. the whole AFC North, you got to talk about like them. AFC like that, man. It is, and it's going to be tough. So, Jaguars, this is what happens when you think you can run it back with a team and it puts you in a bind. You know what I'm saying? Instead of trying to get better yeah. or or try to go all out. Is that what we did? You think that's what happened? No, we ran we it trusted, back. We trusted that. Bro, we, we trusted that. Luke playoff. Yes. Because <laughs> that's what it was at this point. That's what we did. Yeah. That's exactly what we did, bro. Hmm. We ran the same team back. And we thought that. And we thought it was going to. We was thought just, just maybe we'd make us a couple adjustments. Yeah. And and it did work. And now we back in the bind. And we did some solid moves. And ain't no, I don't think it's game changing moves mm -hmm. unless Gabe Davis break out. You know, so I think he'll be a good. I fit. think he'll be. I think he'll good fit. Uh, Doug, Doug yeah. Peterson calling him a Swiss Army knife. Mm -hmm. So, look like he he gonna do some. He he has twenty seven career touchdowns. So he gonna catch some touchdowns mm -hmm. and he gonna catch the ball down the field. We know that. But defensively, you know what I'm saying. I just feel like I all. I mean, it all depends on our quarterback. Okay, we all know that. Trevor has to take a huge step, and our defense, are they going to hold up on the back end, and will the defense be good under Ryan Nielsen, our new defensive coordinator, you know? Um, I love the signing of Eric Armstead. I think that's going to be huge for our defensive line, you know? I definitely think that he's going to be able to put, that, put some more focus and pressure on the middle. Then those guys on the outside can flourish, or either wherever right. they put him at, though, because you know we don't know yet. Yeah, he's yeah. gonna, he, he gonna be in there. You know, think so? Inside. Inside, yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. But I don't know, man. You know, it's it's we in a tough position. Like I said, bro, we should have we should have been going all out, even though the free agency were of Kristen Kurt and Evan Ingram and Aluakun. You know, those three. I mean, I could say that's a successful free agency class. But last year, not really doing much, you know, that hurt us. Hmm. You know, because like I said, they thought, they thought that we can run it back. It's breaking us in the ass again. Yes, and then our quarterback didn't take a step forward, you know. Some could say that he regressed, you know. So, but I either way. Say. 
You know, did, did, but we needed a step forward, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We needed a step forward. So but he, the same he he did that. That's, that's almost well, shit. Yeah. He turned the ball over more. If that's the case, this is his prove it year for us as fans. Yeah. In a way. I mean, how many more how much time do you need? Okay, I ain't gonna get that. That's where you going there. <laughs> you Who? Going there. <laughs> but Who? Uh, but I Man think Jones. that I think that move that the the moves that the Titans did at the receiver position, getting Calvin Ridley, and I think and already having D Hop. And I think what the Texans did, you know, adding Stefan Diggs, bro. I think that pulls our card, and it's like, hey, you gotta get right on defense. You gotta get right on the in the secondary. Mm -hmm. That's my biggest concern. The whole right secondary. Now. Yes, yes. Okay, Darnell Savage. That's cool. He not covering uh, Stefan Diggs one on one. Mm -hmm. He won't have trouble with Tank Dell as well. Savage really just fast, bro. But I, 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 I he a good, he's a hybrid guy, you yeah. know. I just know him from, from being quick. Yeah. He's a hybrid guy. Uh, and right now they saying that he gonna play nickel. You know, mm -hmm. so And not your boy? That's what I'm saying. He'd be hot. He's a hybrid guy. But Tyson Campbell, Ronald Darby, Darnell Savage, Cisco, you know. Mediocre? I mean, it's yeah, vanilla. Very <laughs> vanilla. I mean, it's, it's a sock. It's, it's not nothing that we can, you know. Oh, we got one down. of the best groups. I hope they prove it wrong, though. Hopefully, no. We want that, yeah, for sure. But, but on paper, on what it looks like, yeah, 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 on paper, and what and what the numbers that already have been made out to the people that they got going against up against high guys. Uh, all I gotta say, that pass rush better be crucial. Yeah, you know. So I think it. Uh, Cornerback got to be the move. Cornerback. First round. I like that Quinion Mitchell, Cooper DeGene, Kool-Aid McKinney. Cooper DeGene. I keep hearing people say his name. Yeah. He's a, he's a white boy that can play corner. That, okay. That's, he's an athlete, and he was uh, – he was basically I was playmaking part of their defense. Hmm. And he did punt return. That's why I like him. You know, because I got a, a real respect for punt return. They're yeah. very different. You yeah. got to be very different to do that. But That's what they used to have me about, though. Look at this. Thank you, man. <laughs> 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 yeah, man. But, yeah, uh, I still think the draft is very paramount, bro. One of the most important drafts of Jaguar history right now. Mm -hmm. Because. How many of those we done had important drafts? <laughs> Hey, I mean, but I gotta find that video when we drive to Trevor, because that was a, was a, joy, a joyful moment. Yeah, and I don't know if I feel the same. Yeah, <laughs> so you got a few more weeks, man. A few more weeks until the draft, and that's that's gonna say a lot, bro. That's gonna say a lot of what di what the direction of the Jaguar is gonna be. You know I have no expectations as far as this season this year. Uh, I do want, I do want to see us win and go to the playoffs. Yeah. I want to see us have a true identity. Like, okay, Jacksonville coming to town, they doing this and they gonna do it good. Yeah. It's just like you know the good teams in the league, other than KC, because they doing whatever the hell they want, whenever they want, right. and how they want. You know? Yeah. Well, everybody don't got Patrick. Nope. Nobody has Patrick. We got Trevor. We got Trevor. Yeah. And, and Trevor well, needs to be on that type of level. Cause if he don't, not, boy. Not, not Mahomes level, but yeah. he got to be on CJ Stroud level. He got to be on Josh Allen level. He got to be up there with them. You got to at least be on CJ Stroud level, though. I mean, can, could we say he played somewhat? No. He, not this season. He had time, some games. Some, some games, games, yeah. We need that consistently. I was going to say Denzel. Game. DZ, Meatball, DZ, whichever one you want to be. Mm -hmm. Be real with yourself. Yep. He did not play up to that. And as bad as I just wanted to say, I want him to be our guy, bro. But you know who? If you keep playing, bro, Matt Jones just came in town. Tighten up, bro. <laughs> Tighten up, man. Either way, man, that's football right there. Mm -hmm. um, baseball. Has started. Yeah, 
the baseball had started, man, about eight games in or something like that. Mm -hmm. Very exciting. Right time for the Dodgers. How your ball club looking? They all right, man. We just hurt in in the pitching department, but they they okay. Mm. They okay. I ain't checking. Tampa Bay Rays. Yeah, yep. Tampa Bay. He's a Ray fan, man. I'm a. Yep. I like the Atlanta Braves. I'm gonna say the Atlanta Falcons. The, the Braves, Braves are Braves. just nasty, bro. Mm -hmm. They're nasty. Uh, the Dodgers are nasty. The Orioles are nasty. <laughs> Uh, well, Aaron Judge when that did he go there with the some Yankees are nasty. Who all over there? You said sure. It's, it's uh, Judge and Soto. Judge and Soto. Okay, yeah. that's what I, I want to watch that just because like why not? Yeah, the big <laughs> thing. The big thing with the Yankees is Garrett Cole. They ace. They pitching ace is hurt right now. Mm. So he's gonna be out for a month or some time. So, uh, but yeah, man, baseball is exciting right now. Uh, about the opening week of it. You know, so keep an eye on that. The NBA so playoffs. So op the opening ain't started yet? Yeah, it has. Oh, yeah, you said, oh, okay. Yeah, that, the opening week was. I thought you said it's about the opening week. No, nah, it was last week um, they started. So they preseason went like. Spring training, but they, they play. 40 every, games in two weeks, like a month. 30, 30, about 30 in a month. Down there, huh, 30? Damn. Yeah, about 30 in a month. So, and then they go right into it, bro. So that. And then the NBA playoffs is about to start. Well, the NBA season is about to be over with. And they got about five more games or something like that. So that's going to be on the come up. March Madness is almost to the end. You know, the women's, you know, I, I know everybody was watching that. Iowa versus uh, LSU. Yeah. Angel Reese versus uh, Caitlin Clark. Caitlin, yeah. You know, Caitlin Clark dropped 41 on LSU head. And stuff so it's been a lot of sports you know I think this is this time or well, not this time but the around September is where sports is really at its peak because mm -hmm. you got um, you got the baseball playoffs and then you got um, football. football starting up so yeah. I what think part, that's the best part what part uh, it's a part was you know basketball baseball and football be going on uh, when is that like October? Yeah, but basketball just be starting. Starting, and then you yeah, got football. And, and baseball remember, about to end. Well, we've been having so many videos. We've been ready then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a lot to talk about. There you got there. everything cracking, boy. Yes, sir. You got anything else you need to talk about? No, no. Just be on the lookout, man. You know, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Yes, Thank sir. God you're alive. Because yes. you could be dead. You couldn't, you, know, you couldn't be listening to my sweet, tender voice right now. <laughs> and my boy J.O., yeah, but nah, that's it, man. Just, you know, happy to be alive and thriving, you know. Heck yeah, same here, bro. Yeah. So, that's going to do it. Another episode of The Adjustments. This is your boy J.O. It's your boy D.Z. The Nigga, bless us only off from here.